Test number two, this, this time I've taken the power line adapter and I've moved it into a physical plug socket recommended by TP-Link themselves on this particular model. So as you can see, um, that's now in a physical socket and we've still got the other one in the 12-way adapter socket. Just trying all different scenarios because in the past I got tons and tons of questions on this. So this is um, what I've got done. So that's one in the 12-way extension goes off to the internet and that one up there is on the proper socket that goes to my Mac as you can see. Now we've got a bit more better speeds now. It's actually saying it's got 178 megabits per second across the power line itself. So obviously we're getting now getting them closer on the same connection very, very much like. Now we see if that makes any difference on internet speed itself. So we go back and we'll do a new new speed. Click on go and we'll see if we actually get back up to our normal speed that I normally get from a Mac. So there's any more slight improvements. A little bit more. Just a little bit more here. There we go. We're getting very close to this um, 60 megabit, where I normally really get around about average 70 meg. So yeah, go 58. Bit better, better improvement on that side. And again, we don't see much improvement or less on this one. It's very much just running the same. So our download speeds are getting better now over the internet. It's a BT internet, sorry, it's Sky, well Sky BT, same bloody thing. Um, and the package I'm on is, is 70 meg. So now with the power line moved, getting much more throughput rates between the two devices, we're getting our better performance on the internet side. This is probably the best way of testing this rather than sort of trying to do file transfers um, and, and stuff like that. So yeah, much more improvement on that side. So that's test number two done, completed. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move the other adapter that's in the 12-way adapter, put it into a physical master socket as recommended by TP-Link and then we'll do a test number three to see if there's any more improvements uh, on that side and see if we are getting close to our 17 meg download.